Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Uh, this is not the video that I wanted to post today. I wanted to do a much larger Watch Me wardrobe, but I had some small issues that um, have caused me to rethink that. Anyway, I'm going through right now and um, organizing some new purchases, and I wanted to uh, show you a, a quick tip video on creating folders or subfolders in outfits. Uh, so I have this new outfit from Adams that has uh, two components to it. It has the actual, I guess, this cat suit, uh, and then it's also got this body chain. And so if I look in the folder that comes from Adams, I've got all of this different stuff in here. Uh, so I wanted to show you quick how I uh, go through and create the subfolders to organize all of this um, in my inventory. So this uh, works with Freya, Isis, Lara, Hourglass, Physique, and Venus. So I'm going to start by coming up to my inventory control folder, and I'm going to grab a copy of each of those. So Freya, Hourglass, Isis, Lara, Physique, and Venus. I'm going to select those, right-click and copy. You've seen me do that before. I'm going to come down here, though, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it, not once, but twice. All right, so while I could say, you know what, I always want to wear this uh, catsuit and the body chain together at the same time, uh, it's possible that I might want to wear one or the other of them separately. So uh, what I do is once I have the, the core folders in there is I need to rename each one of them to match what's going to go into there. So I come up here to my first Freya, and I press F2 to rename it. And go to end, and I'm going to go ahead and type in catsuit at the end. And then I'm going to copy this. I'm going to highlight it all, including that space at the end between Freya and catsuit. I'm going to highlight it all and Control C to copy. And I'll press enter. And then I'm just going to go to each individual folder, one for hourglass, and I'm going to add that to the end. So I do that by pressing F2 to rename. I press the right arrow to go to the end and Control V to paste. And because I copied that space, I don't have to put the space in. I can very quickly rename all of these now to match what I need. And I can do the same thing here. I'll go ahead and rename this Venus at the end, body chain. And I'll go ahead and grab all that, copy, hit enter, and then I'll just go back through and go back up the, the ladder, so to speak, to put in all of these. And now I need to add one more folder for HUD, and I'm done. So Freya, and this is the actual catsuit, Isis, Lara, Hourglass, Zeke, and Venus, and Freya, Isis, Lara, Hourglass, Zeke, Venus, and the HUD. So there it is. So that allows me to really, really quickly go through and create a nice organized subfolder structure based on an outfit that has more than one component in the same outfit folder. So there you go. Quick way to go in and, and customize those folders to your needs. I uh, hope you liked this quick tips video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos for more tips on using CTS Wardrobe and organizing your inventory in Second Life. And I hope to see you all soon. Take care.